This video shows you how to install Salesforce Mobile SDK for iOS on Mac OS X. We are assuming that you already have an Apple developer account and have installed the latest production versions of Xcode and the iOS SDK. To install these products, go to the Apple developer website. Scroll down the home page to find the link to the Xcode page. Click this link, then click the link to download Xcode from iTunes. Notice that Xcode includes the latest iOS SDK, so you don't have to download that separately. On to installing Mobile SDK. For installation, Mobile SDK uses the Node Package Manager, or NPM, that comes with Node.js. To check whether you've already installed Node.js, open a terminal window and type Node, N-O-D-E. If your prompt changes to a simple greater than sign, that means that you already have Node.js, and you're now in the Node.js command line. Type Control c twice to exit the Node.js command line. If you get a command not found message, go to nodejs.org and click install. The Node.js installer automatically also installs npm. Now you're ready for the mobile SDK installation. In a terminal window, Run the npm installer as a super user. Type sudo npm install force iOS dash g. The dash g parameter tells this command to perform a global installation of the mobile SDK force iOS utility so that you can access the force iOS command regardless of the directory you're currently in. You've now installed the force iOS npm utility. You'll use this utility for all of your mobile SDK for iOS installation needs. Type force iOS to see usage information. You'll use Force iOS Create to create new Xcode projects for the three types of mobile SDK applications native, hybrid local, and hybrid remote. Let's create a new native project. Make sure you're in the directory where you want to store your project. In my case, I'm going to change directories to the development directory. Type force iOS create and press enter. The first prompt asks you for the type of project you want to create. Type native to create a native app. For application name, let's type first iOS. For the output directory, type iOS apps. This is the name for the location where you want your app to be created. If the directory doesn't exist, Force iOS will create it. For the company identifier, let's use com.myapps.ios. For the organization name, My Apps Inc. Connected app ID and connected app callback are values from your Salesforce connected app definition. For now, let's just accept the defaults for these two. In a real app, you'll change these values to the consumer key and callback URI from your connected app before you post the app on the app store. Okay, so Mobile SDK now creates your new app in the iOS app's first iOS folder. It also copies the entire mobile SDK for iOS to the iOS app's slash force iOS folder. 
This folder contains the SDK files that your new project references. Let's open the project in Xcode. Choose the iOS simulator that you want to use. Let's choose iPhone Retina 4 inch. To run the project, click Run. Choose the iOS simulator that you want to use. Let's choose iPhone Retina 4 inch. Click Run. Once you see the login screen, your app is loaded and working. Log into your organization and you'll see that the template app retrieves a list of 10 users and populates a table view with them. Study the sample starter code to see how to use the Salesforce Mobile SDK for iOS to process simple REST requests. Congratulations! You've built your first mobile SDK app for iOS. Thank you for watching.